A very quick question about the time scale, and I mean, you're quite right that uh, it will probably take longer. But the, the Stormont House Agreement had a, a five year time frame in it, as Eames Bradley had. Um, and now I think a lot of us at the time criticized that, saying, you know, that's not realistic. Um, but is it, is it fair to criticize the present legislation having that time frame when others previously had, had a similar ambition? Yeah, I, I take your point, but from, from recollection, the HIU looked to me like it was going to be something which was well staffed and, and well resourced. Um, I think in respect of the RCRIR, there, there's still a, a large part which is which is unknown. Okay, we've had it explained to us it will be headed by a, a figure of judicial standing, there will be a commissioner of investigations. But behind that, I don't think we have any sense at all about how it will be resourced. Um, the caliber and number of individuals who, who, will, who will be involved in it. And therefore, it is difficult to make a judgment as to how able it will be able to move through whatever case, case load it has in, in, that, in that time frame. Anna, do you want to respond to you? Yeah, I mean, I think, I think the key issue is resourcing it. I mean, you could move relatively quickly if, if, if you resourced um, a HIU type body properly. I mean, I think, David, the, the, the fear that I have is just this sense of, as Barney alluded to, about this get legacy done and the way in which this bill is moving quickly through Parliament, you know, without adequate. All of that gives a deep sense of unease, you know, about um, the, t the time frame and rushing all of this through and closing the window down in five years so that if you haven't got, you know, requested your review by that stage, it's not possible. All of that just, I suppose, uh, sort of, increases my disquiet about the intent behind all of this. 